Hi sisters, it's Jake here, and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I have a little color in my face. I broke my usual rule of never going outside, and today I swung in a hammock. Are you proud of me? I've made this joke before, but usually when I go outside once a week during the summer, the sun shines down on me in a way where you can see all of my insides, almost as if I'm a jellyfish. But I guess I'm trying to switch that up. Before I get started with this video, I'd like to say thank you to all my patrons. I sent out all of the May Polaroids and some of you are getting them right now, which is super exciting. I personally take this around with me everywhere I go and whenever I see something that I like, I take a photo, sign it, and then mail it to one of you. If you want any of those Polaroids, check out the link in the description below. Okay, let's get on to it. Today I'm going to be talking about James Corden. Maybe two months ago I was going to make a video on Sir Corden, but I'm afraid that if I use any footage from his show, everything will be claimed. So I have discovered some great clips not shot by his shitty show, and hopefully I won't get copyright claimed for this. I used to enjoy James Corden and what he did on The Late Late Show. I thought that some of the things that he was doing on the show was breaking the mold of the previous late night hosts, but now it's just become so repetitive that none of it means anything. Oh, another carpool karaoke with who gives a fuck. Like, nobody's watching that. Even though I did buy a James Corden carpool karaoke microphone that you could set up to your aux cord in your car, and Hannah and I had a blast. I sang some SZA songs, she sang some Whitney Houston. In doing my research, I came across this video that really bothered me of James Corden and Justin Bieber. Let's see what James has to say. I believe this is at some kind of an award show, and Justin Bieber was 60. Remember that. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Great quality, first of all. And the title is Hilarious Justin Bieber Interview with James Corden. Let's see how funny it is. Ready for Bieber Fever. Justin Bieber's here. Bieber Fever, yes. How are you tonight? Are you okay? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. True. This is your first Brit Awards. Are you enjoying it? It is. It's my first time here. I'm really excited. So many people are so nice here, and uh, I'm excited. How many times can you say excited in a sentence, Justin? I mean, I understand that you're 16, but like, you've been doing this for a while. <laughs> I also love how much alcohol is on this table. Like, I've, I don't think I've ever seen this many beverages at a table of six people. Let me say this, lean into me again. You smell amazing. How oh. old are you? Uh, thank you. How old are you? I'm 16. I'll be 17 in like two weeks. I don't ever remember smelling that good at 16. Okay. I just want to go over this a little bit. So let's look at James and like his body language. So he's wrapped his arm around him and we've got these people in the back who are just hilarious. This lady just trying to put on a smile, but you can tell that it's fake because she's a little freaked out. And this lady did the complete opposite where she's like, oh, oh, she, he just said he's 16. All right, James. All right, James. Sorry. <laughs> Did the impression wrong. Wow, look at your eyes. Um, uh, what music are you listening to at the moment? Ew, what? Oh my God, look at your eyes. And you smell so good. When I was 16, I never smelled that good. Like, I've, I just... Oh, there's something about you. Could it be the millions of dollars? James, what are you doing? Like, is this a joke? I mean, of course it's a joke. I mean, I hope it's a joke. I feel like Selena Gomez was watching this and was like, I could just never treat him this way. Like, James is just such a king. Maybe that's why they broke up. Well, uh, I listen to a lot of different stuff. I'm really into Jesse J, actually. Oh, <laughs> Jesse J. Thank you so much. Look at him. Look at him. What a beautiful face. All right. Oh, my God. Did this lady in the back explode? Beautiful face. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Thank you so much. Stop Look touching him. him. I'm this girl in the back where I'm just like... Oh, and she's possessed by Vecna. All of this gives me bad vibes. Find out who's nominated for international breakthrough. Vote to oh, Justin. Don't tease me, Bieber. <gasps> um, voted for by Ew. Radio One, the listeners, I should say, and here to present it is a woman who has broken. What? Wait, wait, wait. What's he doing with that hand? Listeners, I should say, and here to present it is a woman who has broken. Oh, <laughs> where was that going, James? James, are you making your way downtown? What? What was that? More bands. Then I've had hot dinners. Well, not that many, but a lot. It's fun, cotton. So Justin tries to break like this weird tension by doing it back to him. And of course that was the wrong idea because James is sexually attracted to him. Just do it. 
Don't tease me. Good. I'm going to follow that up with this nice article. Now, this is just allegations by his staff. But shortly after this, James canceled the show for 2023. So let's see what it says. James Corden's staff allegedly furious after he demanded a $5 million raise for himself and no raises for the crew. Anonymous gossip claims. I'm going to put a little trigger warning for this for uh, fat phobia, but read this title. James Corden pigs out on fat five million dollar payday well okay i feel like that invalidates everything that just happens pigs out okay good this next clip i'm super proud of this is james corden making a harvey weinstein joke at an aids gala what this is to raise money for aids and he's making Weinstein jokes. James, let's see what your little angle is here. Here in LA, it's so beautiful, Harvey Weinstein has already asked tonight up to his hotel to give him a massage. It's so beautiful. Harvey Weinstein already asked her to go up to his hotel room and give him a massage. Okay, too many words in that joke. Uh, I don't know much about joke telling. All I know is that I'm a silly, goofy guy and I'm basically the funniest person on the planet. But I don't think that this is how you tell a joke. The setup, very short. The punchline needs to be shorter than that, right? But he says, mm -mm -mm. I want to get in my joke that I just thought of about Harvey Weinstein, who's abused a bunch of women and I'm going to squeeze it in here. I don't care about the people suffering in the audience from the disease that the gal is about and suffering from his jokes. I don't know whether that groan was that you like that joke or you don't like that joke. Don't if like you it. don't like that joke, you should probably leave now. Yeah, leave the AIDS gala. See you later. If you don't like that joke, then get out of here. Uh, okay. It has been weird this week though, hasn't it? Watching Harvey Weinstein in hot water Ask any of the women who watched him take a bath. It's weird watching Harvey Weinstein in hot water. Like, I saw that coming from a mile away, right? It's weird seeing Harvey Weinstein in hot water. I was thinking he was going to say something about, like, a hot tub or, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know, something quirky and weird like that. He's not saying that. He's saying that the girls who watched him bathe, it must have been weird seeing Harvey Weinstein in hot water, literally. And it gets a big laugh. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein in hot water. Harvey Weinstein wanted to come. Did you hear that explosive laugh? <laughs> Harvey Weinstein wanted to come tonight, but uh, he'll settle for whatever potted plant is closest. <laughs> oh, come on! Okay. I'm not the person to really decide if this is appropriate or not, but I thought that he was going to make one joke. It was going to be like that really shitty one at the beginning. But no, he has a set about Harvey Weinstein and his sexual abuse towards women. <laughs> at this AIDS gala. So this is the foundation for AIDS research and they put on the gala once a year. And this is where he's like, I'm going to try out my new material that I can't do on the show. Like the Late Late Show can't handle all of my crazy controversial jokes. And he goes, you know what? I'm going to make this joke to people who are suffering from a disease or are going to donate to or are going to donate to help eradicate this disease. So that was good, right? That was great. So, so far we have two clips in a very reliable article. Let's see what we have next. Now I've seen TikToks of this and it has scarred me for quite a while. And I would like to show it to you. James Corden, Camille Cabello, Billy Porter, and Adina Menzel stopped traffic in LA for a flash mob with a cover of Jennifer Lopez's Let's Get Loud to promote Cinderella movie. Let's see how awesome this is. Hi, James. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we've got some fake singing from Camilla, right? That's how I sing. Ain't nobody gonna Ain't nobody gonna <laughs> That's literally what I do. But I also like the guy's reaction after James Corden humps his face. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Good. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> One more time. Let's make a nice edit out of this. Oh, go, oh, go, oh. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I got a little carried away. You can hear that there's a girl in the car and he's like, oh, oh, I, I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh, you can see his actual cock and balls. <laughs> James. Let's get 
Oh, I blurred that out. But if you want to see this uncensored, don't. I don't think it's appropriate that we're looking at James Corden's little glass slipper. Is that what we're going to call it since he's promoting the Cinderella movie? I don't like that James Corden is shaking his little uh, baby bell cheese balls. I had to add balls in there. Just very weird. It seems very tone deaf. Like, <laughs> like it reminds me of celebrities who are like, it's funny. Do you not understand? This is really funny. And we're like, oh, James. Oh my God. I can smell you from here. You're toasting in that. I know you are. 20 million views though. I'm glad that millions of people People have seen James Corden's balls. <laughs> and the promotion was for a movie that was bad, so. And lastly, I'd like to show one of my favorite clips that I've ever seen. This is James Corden and Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart is Professor X in X-Men and he's done a billion other things, a very celebrated actor. And this is at the Glamour Awards. Let's take a look. I want to speak to James here. Okay. It is, it's James, isn't it? Uh, Oh, little diss. It reminds me of like a celebrity roast. This goes to show that James Corden could never do like stand up or anything like that. He could only do pre-written monologues. And that Harvey Weinstein joke is proof. He's like, what does Ricky Gervais do? He goes on stage, he makes some controversial jokes. I could do that. And then he does it and it falls through. He hosted this award show and Patrick Stewart has some words to say. And when the recipients are receiving their awards, don't- Sorry, I paused it in the middle of the most exciting part. But look at his face. He's so like, like he knows that something's about to happen. Don't stand at the back of the stage with your hands in your pockets as though you wished you were anywhere but here. Oh, you couldn't be more wrong, sir. Oh, genuinely. And if it looked like that, I'm so sorry. But when you come up and present an award, just get on with it. There we go. <laughs> Not very nice, not very nice. Disrespecting a classic actor. Also, I hate how proud he is of himself after this joke. I don't know why Patrick Stewart like had to bring that up. Let's see if this goes anywhere. From where I was sitting, I can see your belly. And uh, that was right over there at the back of the room. These people down here, uh, you know. What was that joke? <laughs> that he's just bigger? Sorry, I'm waiting for the punchline. Go on. Oh. No, seriously, go on. Oh. Okay. No, um, go on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get him out of here. Get him both out of there. Please, 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 please. Also, James, stop looking like me. Uh, not really. He has a little more structure to his face. You know that there's an issue when James Corden has more structure in his face than you. <laughs> okay. No, um, go on. Go on. You can see my belly. And we can all see you dying right now. Let's go for it. Here we go. Okay. This is all just so weird. I don't like that he like shoves him a little bit. Let's go for it. Here we go. Let's go for it. And then Patrick Stewart's like, I'm going to murder him. I'm going to kill him. And, uh, and that's it. Patrick Stewart right now is hoping that he has his Professor X powers and like that he could just like kill him with a couple looks. But unfortunately he can't. And James Corden is going to move on with his career and stop traffic in a mouse costume. One more. Do you want one more? Yeah. If you fancy the Jonas Brothers, cover your belly. What? <laughs> what does any of this mean? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I can't even, I don't even want to dissect that joke. I feel like that would suck all the fun of me being a YouTuber is having to dissect Patrick Stewart making a Jonas Brothers joke about James Corden's stomach. And so that's where I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. I think that James Corden is a menace to society. And I know that you might think that that's a little bit of a stretch, but I'll tell you why. He hit on Justin Bieber when he was 16, stroked his face, smelled him a little bit, and said a couple gross comments. Then he humped the face of a unwilling person from their car after stopping traffic. Say my grandmother was in the hospital and I was like rushing there, but then I reach a red light, crosswalk comes on, James Corden comes out, humps my face, does it a couple more times because they had multiple takes, and then I miss out on my grandma's last moments. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I have merch coming out soon, and so I, I hope you like that. Thank you so much for all the recent support. We're about to hit 33,000 fucking subscribers. I hit 25 10 days ago. I hit 30 two days ago. This is insane. Thank you to Drew for doing the collab with me that boosted, or at least recently boosted my channel. It means the world to me. Yeah, just thank you all for everything. You've changed my life. So, nice wholesome ending to a disgusting video, and... 
that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.